I would probably get interrupted. I'm saying this from home, but I just had a thought a bit further. Finally finished off this problem. And so I just want quickly to say how the rest of it goes. Um, and so here goes. Sorry, I'm just very quickly recording something. Um, So, the where I left things was with this um, solitaire problem was that if n is congruent to one mod four, what mod three? I mean, then you can do it. If it's congruent to three mod four, you can't do it. If it's congruent to two mod four, I wasn't sure. But what I could prove was that you can do it for two, and that if you can do it for n, you can do it for n minus 3, as long as n is large enough, but unfortunately 5 was not large enough. So I could get from 8 to 5 and 11 to 8 and so on, but I couldn't get from 5 to 2, and then I started even having slight doubts about whether it worked for 5. And unfortunately, well, the answer turned out to be rather boring. Every invariant I thought about, or it just seemed there was absolutely no hope of proving it by somehow uh, souping up the invariant that I'd already thought of. Um, but I then had a little thought which was, if you take your configuration and look at how it, um, I'll just go back to the pattern which I've drawn somewhere over here, you look at the parity of the intersection of shifts of it with this, uh, then it will always remain the same. So if it starts off as uh, if it starts off when, when its left-hand corner is in zero, then it's sort of even, even up here and even up here and then odd when you're in those places and so on. That will always remain the case. And so thinking about that, um, I realized that um, if you position the 5x5 five five like this, so that you've got zeros going up this row and then ones on all these four squares. And that's an even position. And if you shift it up and down uh, or right and left, it will remain um, intersecting an even number of things because you only ever change by a multiple of four. Um, so that means that you're effectively in one of these vertices here, which means that at the end, that must also be the case. And that told me that the... Um, vertex that you've got to try to reach at the end of the whole process is going to have to be either the origin or um, anyway have both its coordinates multiples of three so that gave me the idea why don't I just try to end up at this point here no particular reason for choosing that rather than the origin in fact I think you can get the origin um, and somehow that just helped me find a way of doing it so just remember I had this lemma that says that if you've got three followed and another three you can uh, get rid of this three. So I'm just going to show you how I managed eventually to, to do it for five, which finally showed that you can do it when n is congruent to two mod three. So I can get rid of those. I hope I remember it properly. You can get rid of those, you can get rid of those, and you can get rid of those. I also have the lemma that says, the easy one, that if you've got two, a two by two, then you can sort of jump over here and then jump over here and replace all those four by that. So I'm just thinking in kind of composite moves here. Uh, so the next thing I did was to take that one out and put it here and then take that one out and put it here and then take those four out and stick them here. So there's one space in between. Then take that one down to here. Take those four and stick them here. Boom, 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 boom. And then I can jump over and over one and two and three. That seems to work, although I'm not absolutely sure. <laughs> it's not completely obvious that that is one of the coordinates where I thought it had to be. Uh, I'm a bit confused by that, but I've got rid of so much stuff. I'm going to check it once more and then I'll stop.
I'll put some X's in just to. So I was trying to end up at this point here. So my first step was to, oh, wait a minute. Yes, my first step, that's right. So I, I got rid of those ones. And so the top point was uh, at naught two. And so the last stage when I jumped over, I got to naught three. Okay, so that did work. Um, so there we are. That's all there was to it. I just hadn't looked long enough for an answer to the game uh, when it's five by five. So I'd almost finished and somehow. But actually there was one idea to it. It wasn't just brute force search. Once I'd realized that there was a limit, there was a serious restriction to where the last point could be, that actually narrowed down the search for the uh, solution enough that I found it very quickly. I mean, not as quickly as I've just done it here because I did that from memory, but I pretty much the first thing I tried worked. Um, so that's okay. Eventually, I've I've got there, but uh, it's possible that some people have told me the answer in some comments, which I've very carefully not looked at, just in case that was the case. But I promise that I didn't cheat. I did it all myself. Um, but the only sense in which I cheated was that some of the thought processes um, were online, but not so offline. I mean, but uh, not. I didn't spend too long offline on this one. Um, so there we go. Thank you very much, and I'll stop.